Hello YouTube, this is Michael with Toy Trains for Life. Got another video here for you, a box opening. These are the new uh, Union Pacific ET44ACs. They are supposed to be in the traditional size. They are their new Lion Chief 2.0, which is also TMCC compatible, which is why I was after them. Okay. Very familiar orange box. Gauge of the uh, cardboard is thinner, huh? Than on like uh, some of my other newer engines from a few years back. Interesting. And no more styrofoam, it looks like. Ooh. Nothing but plastic all around. I guess this must be for the smoke fluid. Of course our traction tires. You know, now that I'm looking at it. Okay, it's very, very pretty. Very pretty. It's uh, light um, compared to the SD90s Lion uh, Masters. Uh, I need to make a video on those. All the good cardboard goodness. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> I see a plug in the truck there. Oops, I've already broke something. Well. Well, that's disappointing. Let's see. I don't see where the brake is from oh snapped right across the top huh. wow well I'll have to glue that. That is very disappointing. Just my finger on the underneath of it touching it busted it loose. That's way too delicate. But okay. I uh, I purposely collect in the toy uh, scale hoping that just because I don't know. Uh, not necessarily because of my handling. It's just I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it to be scale model uh, type delicacy. Uh, no crew figures in these, which is seems to be their new going thing. Okay. Don't want to lose that part. I should be able to easily fix it. Okay, let's see, that is the road number 2645, forget what this other one is supposed to be, the road number I mean.
that should be a good noise with earphones. My apologies. <clears throat> okay, let's not break the horn on this one. Yeah, it's stacked right on there. Well, it actually looked like it was originally two pieces, so maybe the glue just didn't settle. I almost think I... Huh. Switches. Let's hope they're in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I love the way they're doing this now. They're the switches in these little uh, magnetic hatches. Makes things a whole lot easier. Oh, I can see the smoke unit. Huh. Okay, well, I am going to repair that one piece and then I will get her set up on the track for a uh, test run. Be right back. Okay, so here we have them on the track. I already have them built into a lash up using TMCC. Getting a little bit of smoke out of 2727. So much luck so far with the front one. There we go. Looks like I had a bubble. Huh. Now that one was going and put on me. Interesting. something so okay well let's get her rolling back up here so it shows a little better these are very loud right out of the, the box not quite as smooth in the lash up as the two SD90 uh, Lion Masters were. We'll see here. Uh, one problem I did have with the SD90s was that the two brand new Lion Chief 2.0 ones did not want to sync with the older Lion Master SD90. Uh, so I had to remove it from the lash up and the Lion Master 2.0 SD90s. One of the timing. Uh, oh, I love the lights. So the ditch lights uh, alternate from horn blast. Okay. Uh, does look like the cab lights go out when it moves. I like that. So 
by the horn. These are beautiful engines though. better. Interesting, it took so long for him to warm up. Very happy with these. Can't wait to set it up and run the SD uh, 90s on the middle uh, uh, loop. Oh, I haven't tried any of the crew or tower. Let's see what tower has to say. Has to say. Dispatcher, air is made, great test complete. Are we clear to pull? Over. Please hold, getting your route line now, out. Three orders, they hold the sighting until 44 clear. Then we can take the main. He should be through any minute. <laughs> I think I have one that ends in 44. just needed to be ran a little bit because that was much smoother than my maiden voyage takeoff there. That is much better. Of course there is break-in periods and I guess I wasn't thinking about that. But yeah, smoking much better now. I was able to fix the little horn. It did uh, just break in a spot that was already glued by them. Uh, so it went back together fairly easily. It's just, it's going to be a pain to service this one in my uh, cradle because I always have to remember to put something on the front part of the engine to lift it up higher to make sure it never sets flat because those are very delicate. Which is weird that they made these in the traditional line. Just, hmm, I don't know. I think may, just with all the other products they're making and the way it's going, I'm not real sure they've got their uh, marketing people working in the right area. But okay, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, so far I am thrilled with these engines. Um, and I will try to make time to get the SD90s out and do a review on those because I do love them engines. I was just disappointed that they're missing one of the TMCC sync features that would make it time to my older Lion Master SD90. Uh, so my current plan is I've ordered another one of the 2.0s and I'm going to attempt a shell swap hoping 
that the screw pattern is the same. Uh, I'll just have to see. They look identical from the outside, other than the paint. So, again, I'll just have to see that one. But, okay, thank you again for watching. Please share and uh, give me a like. Uh, hopefully, I will learn some better camera work <laughs> and uh, uh, how to actually edit without just pressing the pause button. But again, thank you very much for watching and uh, Happy New Year.